you have a prepaid call from an inmate at State Prison, Bluff, California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using... Hey, how you Hello? doing, bro? Hi. Hi. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. So what you go by? Uh, you mean my real name or my uh, my ex gang name? Um, both, sir. Well, my my family called me Ben, but when I was in a gang, they they named me Silent because I didn't talk, you know. And I got the name Silent from the gang. What's your nationality? Uh, I'm Vietnamese. Were you ever part of any gangs, groups, organizations? I'm sorry, can you ask me that? Yes. Were you yes, ever sir. part of any gangs, groups, or organizations? Yes, I was part of uh, a gang named Wachi. And, um, they, go ahead. Uh, they, I believe they, they changed the Chinese gang from LA. Okay, I know they got different, uh, watchings, different uh, sets and stuff like that. Can you elaborate mm -hmm. on which set of watching you're from? Because they got Kansai, Poli Sai, and they got different locations in uh, Southern California. So okay. which location and w what side you're on, what, what side of watching are you from, or used to be from? Well, I used to be from uh, M MP side, which means uh, Monterey Park watching. Okay, can you elaborate on what got you into the gang lifestyle and how you grew up in Monterey Park? Well, actually, I grew up in uh, Vietnam and I came over here when I was 14 years old. And um, when I came over here, I, I went to school and then fortunately, I, I was discriminated and bullied. So, and then uh, I met a, a guy who was already already in the gang and I started hanging out with him and uh, he offered me protection and, and you know and introduced me to to uh, the family so I hung out with them and I became a part of their family okay let me ask you this bro um, uh -huh. what kind of individuals are you watching I know they got different nationalities in it um, I've seen blacks, I've seen Filipinos, I've seen Vietnamese, Chinese. So, um, you being Vietnamese, you're in the Chinese gang. And also, um, how did, you know I me, mean? oh, you know, I'm pretty sure they accepted you um, pretty, you know, pretty well, even though it was a Chinese gang. Um, and also, who were you getting bullied by? Well, uh, the American kids, you know, Asian American, they call me Fab. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. I, I was I was uh, labeled as a fob. I don't know if you knew it, but it means uh, fresh off the boat. And um, and uh, at first I didn't know I didn't understand what it meant till one of my friends told me, and I was really hurt and uh, you know I, I felt I felt disappointed. Because I, I, I was looking for acceptance and, 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 and trying to fit in, but nobody wanted to accept me. Okay, and if you don't mind, like, go ahead, go ahead and finish. I'm sorry. Okay. No, I, I felt like a, uh, like an outsider, you know. Okay, if you can answer this question, um, who was um, watching your clip? predominantly beefing with out in that area? Uh, well, because I, 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 uh, I live in Westminster, so they didn't really have any enemies in that area because uh, originally my size came from uh, Monterey Park in the LA area, but I, I was told that they was enemies with, with uh, uh, West Side Z boy, uh, very nice Asian boy, uh, Fit Ching. Um, I think that's, that's all I know. 
what are you incarcerated for and how long was your sentence? Uh, I was incarcerated for uh, attempted murder uh, for the benefit of the gang. Uh, uh, it was a drive-by shooting. And uh, I got, I got, at first I got 40 years to life, to life. but uh, the youth offender brought my time down to 25 years to life. And how long have you been incarcerated? Uh, I've been incarcerated for 14 and a half years, since 2007. Did they hit you with gang enhancements? Yes, sir. If you can, can you elaborate on the events that occurred? I'm not sure you had a co defendants or you did yourself or whatever. Events that occurred that landed you in prison in your conviction without incriminating yourself and also and others. And also, um, do you believe that you got a fair trial and a fair sentence considering the role that you played in the crime? Well, I did that what I what I did, you know, because I committed a crime and I take full responsibility for my action. Um, I just wish that at that time I, I knew English a little bit better, you know, so I can speak speak up for myself, you know. And uh, because my lawyer, she she came to visit me and I didn't have an interpreter. So, you know, it was hard to communicate with her. And I was just like 17 years old, so I was really scared. You know, so whatever she told me, I just went with it, you know. And, um, and oh. but, you know, I, I had a choice to, to, to not to do the shooting, but I, I did it, so it was all my fault. Okay, at 17 years old, you committed the crime. So my question to you is, did you go to the California Youth Authority at 17 years old, or you went straight to prison? Well, I went to uh, the juvenile hall first, and then uh, when I turned 18, they took me to county jail, and I, I was fined for my case for five years, and uh, I got convicted, and they sent me to uh, Wasco reception, and uh, I've been I've been in the uh, prison system ever since. Okay, when you first went to prison and hit the main line, what was your mentality, bro? Well, I didn't, I never been to men like You have 60 seconds remaining. When I, when I went to reception centers, I, I dropped out. I, I told them that I didn't want to be a part of any game or watching game anymore. So I became SNY and did my time over here ever since. So I, I dropped out and I, I uh, became an SNE. Um, and, uh, you know, I had a co-defendant who testified against me. So when I came to SNY, I, I ran, ran into him. And um, at first he was nervous, you know. Uh, he thought that I was going to do something to him. But as a, you know, I, I told myself that I would never do anything harm to another human being ever again. So I told him, you know, like, I, I forgive him. And, you know, what he did was nothing wrong. Cause, because if I was in his shoes, I would do the right thing to go home to my family. And um, we didn't tell him for nine months, you know, in at Wasco, you know, because uh, I think that it was my fault that I got him, you know, locked up. And I didn't blame him for my action. And, um, and uh, he went home after 12 years, you know. But I hope that, you know, my action, I don't would um, show people that, you know, violence is not the, uh, the ultimate result, you know. You can always find something better, you know, to make your other people happy and safe. Okay, let me ask you this, bro. Um, did they catch you during the crime, 
or they catch they, they catch you afterwards and did they turn yourself in were you hiding out you know and were you looking out the window or well, what can you t- can you tell me what happened well i i was pretending nothing was happening and uh and a month later they came to my house and um uh, they arrested me do you get snitched on um yes i, I was told on by a few of my friends and uh, my co-defendant, you know. Okay, so that's one of the main reasons why you dropped out, correct? Because you got snitched on by your fellow gang members, right? No, the reason I dropped out because, you know, I, I, I don't see myself as a gang member, you know. Um, I, I felt like I, I got them, the reason I got into a gang because, you know, I, I need a protection. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. And I was looking for, you know, uh, a place that I could to accept it. Because I, I was feeling lonely most of the time. And, uh, and when I went to trial, I lost and I saw my family crying, you know, behind me, you know. It, I told myself that I will never do anything to hurt them ever again. Because my, my mom, she she lost all the money to my lawyer. And uh, I, I could never repair for it. And everything that she's done for me. Oh, okay. The reason why. Okay, let me ask you this, bro. Um, I myself... Uh, you know, got incarcerated before. I never went to S and Y yard or non designated yard, things of that nature. Um, of course, you know, I had no reason to, right? But uh my question to you is, um, what's the difference between the main line and the S and Y yard? What's the difference? Well, I I believe when I was in uh county jail they everybody was still active, you know, um general population. Um they they uh they believe in certain rules that you have to follow. Uh, if you don't, they will uh, punish you, you know, like a beat, beat down or uh, kick you out the car, you know. And uh, when I came over here, I see that you don't have to be a part of anybody. Um, you just be yourself, do your own program. You can... Um, uh, uh, Pretty much control your own program, you know, without anybody to tell you what to do. I hope that answers your question. Yeah. Um. And the other question I have for you, bro. Um. You being a former member watching and um, um, in that area. Um. I used to kick it watching and things of that nature. And um, now I know you guys are beefing with the Asian boys, and I seen watching wear red. So my question to you is, um. Why do you guys wear red, and did your clique wear red, or or, or how does that work? Were you guys crippled blood, or, or can you answer that question? Well, uh, the truth is, I, I, I'm not very familiar with the red and the blue things, because I've only been in the game for two months before I got locked up, just a short period of time. So I, I, I didn't really know much about uh, the gang uh, uh, colors and stuff like that. I just, when I was in the gang, I just try to copy what they do, and uh, so I can be like them, you know. And uh, and uh, I don't know. Okay. Um, what's the recruitment process as far as uh, do you get jumped in for a certain amount of minutes and by uh, numerous individuals? How's that work, bro? Oh, uh, I got jumped in for twenty-three seconds, and. After a while, when you have done certain things for them, like be there when there's a, a rival gang or fighting with the gang, you you earn a three dot on your uh, lepers. I think that's a gang ritual of being a wenching gang. Okay, what do you have to say to the youngsters out here, bro, that's um, involved in gang activity? or thinking about joining gangs? Well, what I want to say to them is that um, 
gang is not your future. Gang will take away your futures and put you in jail and destroy all your dreams. Um, it will take you away from your family, the ones you love. And the people that you think that is your family will eventually turn their back on you. And you'll be lonely by yourself. And uh, your family is the only one that's going to be there for you. So just think carefully before you make any decision. Um, if you need help, just ask your family. Don't seek for help for strangers. Because your family going to be there for you no matter what. Mm. And I feel that education also very important to keep the youth of the gang lifestyle. Um, they need to learn more uh, uh, how, how to uh, uh, communicate and learn how to um, make peace with other people. And, um, and I hope that the youth will uh, say what happened to people like me, myself, and learn from it. Because life so precious and so many opportunities waiting for them. And uh, don't let the game of life ruin it and destroy your family. Okay, bro. I don't have no for, uh, any other questions for you. But you ha do you have anything else to address or add? Well, I just want to help you know the youth because I I've been I've been in prison for half of my lifetime, and I wish I could take it back. But time time goes, you know, and it will never stop. But I hope that with me being in here, I can have another experience to share with the youth, so that they can learn and not make the same mistake as I did. I hope that I can make a better future for them. Is that the right example? 60 seconds remaining. Yes, I, I would like to say thanks for to, to people who stood by me uh, during my incarceration and people who uh, support me and believe in me. And I want to I wanted to know that I'll do whatever it takes to return home and be uh, a better guy for the community and, and give back to them.